As a healthcare provider, healthcare consumer, and a business owner, I'm always looking for value no matter what I do. In this video, I'm going to compare two different TURP loops, one made by Dornier MedTech and the other one made by Acquired Med, and see if there are any differences between the two. TLDR, if you don't want to stay till the end, there's really no difference between the two when it comes to functionality. For those of you who don't know me, my name is John Lin. I'm a urologist at Sunrise Urology, also your humble host of the Thriving Urology Practice Facebook group where we crowdsource practice management solutions for everyone's benefit. All right, I'm always looking for a better deal no matter what I do personally or professionally. In owning multiple businesses, I'm always looking for the best value. Now, when it comes to providing healthcare as a surgeon, I want to make sure that I'm being very mindful regarding how I spend healthcare dollars on behalf of my patients. So when it comes to doing TURPs, I am always looking for ways to conserve dollars to make sure that we are being efficient with our expenditures. Now, I do a lot of TURPs uh, because uh, you know, being a urologist, being a male, I tend to see more men and TURP is one of the, the procedures that I do a lot of because there are 40 million men just in the US alone with enlarged prostates. There are simply not enough urologists to take care of them. So I will tell you, uh, please excuse the casual attire. Today is my OR day and uh, I generally dress, uh, dress down for it. So uh, I wanna talk about these two loops. Now I've been using Acquire Med TURP loops, medium TURP loops for quite a few years. They work exactly the same. I did a comparison between Acquire Med's loops and Olympus's loops many years ago. And I was able to perform, I think one day I did eight TURPs and I was able to use the Acquire Med and the Olympus uh, loops. There was really no difference between the two other than the price. So I switched over to Acquire Med many years ago. Now, Keep in mind that I use the Olympus resection system, especially the Olympus ESG 400 generator, bipolar saline resection system. I'm not sure if the generator makes a difference, but that is the system that I use and I love the ESG 400. I When I did a lot of TURPs using the Olympus medium loops, I loved using the loops until Acquired Med kind of came around, providing the same efficacy and uh, experience when it comes to performing TURPs using their loop. So I switched over to Acquire Meds for many, many years. Recently, Dornier MedTech came out with their own loop, also a 12 degree medium loop that fits into the Olympus 26 French Resect Soap Sheet. And I've been, I recently I started trialing it and believe it or not, the experience is quite the same. I'm gonna show you a, a couple of videos this first one is using the acquired med loop. Now, I'm resecting the patient's right side and uh, or your left side, and it cuts, it, it develops a plasma very, very uh, quickly, and it cuts through the tissue kind of like butter, just like you would expect from a bipolar resection loop. And it just keeps going and going and going. Now, you'll notice that here, I, may, I, I think I'm gonna be starting to pick up just a little bit. Now, some of you who are used to doing monopolar TURP may be concerned about how quickly you can develop that plasma and how quickly you can resect. So I'm moving on to the anterior tissue using the acquired med loop, and you can see that you can go fairly quickly through the loop, uh, through the uh, resection, developing, developing the plasma and cutting through the tissue, just like that. So that is the Acquired Med Medium Loop, one that I've been using for a long time. You can see that it develops a, a plasma very quickly and you can resect very, very quickly using that particular loop. Now, let's switch on over to the Dornier MedTech. This is a new loop that I trialed and here is my resection experience. I'm starting, this is a short squatty uh, prostate. Some of you who are experienced in doing TURPs know that smaller prostates tend to be uh, maybe a little bit more challenging. You have to be a little bit more careful. I'm just taking down the, uh, the uh, uh, posterior aspect of the uh, prostate. And uh, you can tell that the fulguration works really, really well, just like 
just like you would expect from a saline bipolar TURP. I'm slowly resecting the patient's left lateral lobe of the prostate, and you can tell that it cuts and develops a plasma just like just like the acquired med, and I already compared the acquired med to the Olympus medium loop, and it works just the same. And the resection experience between the acquired med and the Dornier, this is, this is the Dornier that I'm showing you right now, it's essentially the same. It cuts through tissue very rapidly. It develops a plasma extremely rapidly. And now I'm showing you uh, a, a rather rapid, more rapid resection. And you can tell that it cuts away tissue just like you would expect. It's, it's almost like a monopolar TUR, uh, except I'm using saline in this uh, situation, which is, as you all know, a lot safer and uh, more definitely more physiologic when it comes to uh, the patient's uh, anatomy and uh, chemistry. So I'm resecting the anterior tissue. You can see that I, I'm just kind of going and going and going, just like the energy the energizer bunny. <laughs> and uh, it, there's there's no problems in developing developing a plasma and um, resecting the patient's uh, right side in this using the Dornier MedTech medium loop, also the 12 degree loop and 24 French. So uh, between the uh, two, as far as the surgical experience, there's really no difference. And what happened there was that the uh, the cord on the uh, resection device was caught in the handle, so I had to kind of slow down and clear that obstruction on the outside of the patient. Now, you saw a little arterial bleeder. I was able to resect right through, and that cauterized the bleeder as well as uh, allow me to resect the tissue. So it works really, really well. It works uh, very, very smoothly between the Two, these uh, two different loops, and uh, there's really no difference in the surgical experience for the surgeon when it comes to these acquired med and the Dornier loop. Now, what happens, I, I perform all my TURPs as outpatients, meaning the patients go home the same day, and typically this is what it looks like when the patient is in the recovery room. The efflux from the CBI should be almost completely clear, if not completely clear. That's how I'm able to get the patients home the same day, and the catheter usually comes out in three days. I would love to hear about your experience. If you even do TURPs, or are you, or are you strictly minimally invasive uh, procedure, or are you a uh, laser kind of a guy or gal? Let me know in the comments. All right, so between the two, let me show you the, the, the physical differences between these two loops. You're going to be surprised in that you're, you're going to see that there's really no significant difference between these two loops. Now, the one here, this one on top, on the top of your screen, this is the Dornier loop. And the one down there, this one down here towards you, the one closest to you is made by Acquired Med. You really can't tell the difference between the, the two different loops. Even the coloration right here at the tip, at the electrode end, I mean, even the coloration between the, the installation between the two is exactly the same. Even the crimping right here is the same. The loop length, it, it's nearly identical except the markings on the sides here and here. It says Dornier MedTech and the other one says Acquired Med. And also some uh, markings on this other side here uh, telling you the, the model number, the lot number, and also that it's a 12 degree uh, resection loop. Now, the, if you look through the length of the uh, the loop, it is the same. It's literally exact copy. And I, I wonder if they are made by the same manufacturer. Here's the here's comparison between the two. There's, I mean, there's really no difference physically if you look at the outside. Now, aside from the markings being different, the other thing that may be different between the two is the price. So you would have to inquire with your vendor regarding the actual cost of each one of these disposables. These are single-use loops, so you use it once and you throw it away. I don't know what other countries do, but in the United States here, we use it once and we use it once in a patient and we throw it away. So look into the pricing. The, really, the only two differences are the marking, the packaging, and uh, the external packaging, and the cost. Even, <laughs> it, I'll tell you, I'll show you the internal packaging after you open it, open up the uh, plastic cover, the, the internal packaging, I'll show you this. It's literally the same, the same plastic sleeve. 
is used to contain these two loops. Really, I, I think these are made by the same manufacturer, just white labeled for Donier and also uh, Acquire Med. I think it would be crazy for these two companies to, to have two different factories to make the same loop. So let me know in the comments what you use. Uh, are you using Donier? Are you using the Acquire Med loop? Or do you use the Olympus loop? Let me know in the comments. Uh, it may save you money in the long run if you are a, an, a surgery center or a hospital that does a lot of TURPs. I don't know. Look into it. Let me know in the comments what you think, what you use, and um, any thoughts that you may have regarding TURP loops. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.